so welcome back to the channel Dota Up Increase. My name is Nazanese for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and I'm the founder and CEO of Dota Up Increase Ministries that is ZOI Ministries and here on this channel I help you to increase in your faith and relationship with God in Christ through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more and I do that by posting twice a week every Wednesday and Saturday and occasionally on a Tuesday and as you can see from the title above this is another movie vlog and this is going to be for Redeeming Love by Miss Francine Rivers. And so I have read this book two, three times already. I y'all see the tabs, right? I'm gonna have to read read this again. I actually want to get the Bible study, get the devotional book, and get another copy of this to reread. Um, but the movie came out earlier this year. It came out, I think January it came out, and I wanted to watch it, but I wanted to like reread the book first and then watch the movie but i'm just gonna watch the movie um i've been wanting to watch it for a very long time and i just want to state that redeeming love is definitely one of those christian fiction books that is very iffy for many people because it does talk about um child abuse it does talk about rape it does talk about molestation it does talk about prostitution sex like it's in the book and i'm gonna have that discussion video soon about whether christian fictions uh, novel should go the distance or not because um this is sort of a reimagining of the story of Hosea and Gomer and if you guys don't know the story of Gomer Gomer was basically a prostitute that um the prophet as the prophet Hosea was told to marry by God and it was basically their relationship their marriage was looked at as sort of um a metaphor I guess to how we as believers specifically how the Israelites did god back then but it's also similar to how we as believers can do god and how people do god in christ at times and so you know it's one of those books where some people love it some people hate it some people think it it shouldn't be labeled as christian fiction i am on the side of i loved it this book for me really touched me because of the things that i went through if you guys seen my testimony if not click the eye and more of those videos are coming really soon but um i think this is one of those books that will touch the heart of those who have experienced molestation or rape right it'll touch those hearts um not really those who haven't because they won't understand the mindset and the thoughts that come with that and the spirits that come with that right and so i'm i'm one of them who i've loved it i've started read it multiple times it's one of my favorite books um and again to each their own i know a lot of people again you know some christians believe that it shouldn't be labeled as christian fiction some do i like i said we'll have that discussion video because there are a few books that i read who uh the authors really go in depth about sex or they go in depth about rape or they go in depth about you know molestation and murder and it's like do should christian authors have a limit or should they not have a limit because the bible <laughs> the bible don't hold back okay the bible talk about all of this stuff and i think people fail to forget that the bible talks about this stuff right it speaks on it if you're reading the straight up king james version not the esv not the new king james not the amplified when you read the straight up kjv the bible get crazy <laughs> the bible get real crazy um and so that's gonna be a discussion but i am going to watch the movie it is 134 minutes that's what it says about an hour and a half um and i'm normally watching my movies and stuff on double time or 1.5 speed so it's not gonna take me that long and um i will show snippets here and there where i can um i did have issues with the last movie vlog i did which you can click the eye to watch i did three and i had to go back and edit the video a little bit because um obviously copyright issues with me showing it so i will have to edit some scenes um and stuff like that but i'm gonna tell you guys briefly what this is about so it says a story of love that won't let go no matter what california's gold country 1850 a time when men sold their souls for a bag of gold and women sold their bodies for a place to sleep angel expects nothing from men but betrayal sold into prostitution as a child she survives by keeping her hatred alive and what she hates most are men who use her leaving her empty and dead inside then she meets michael hosea a man who seeks his father's heart father is capitalized as god right so a man who seeks his father's heart in everything michael obeys god's call to marry angel and to love her unconditionally slowly day by day he defies angel's every bitter expectation until despite her resistance her frozen heart begins to thaw but with her unexpected softening comes overwhelming feelings of unworthiness and fear and so angel runs back to the darkness away from her husband's pursuing love terrified of the truth she can no longer deny 
her final healing must come from the one one being capitalized as god right so can only come from the one who loves her even more than michael does the one who will never let her go a powerful retelling of a story of gomer and hosea redeeming love is a life-changing story of god's unconditional redemptive and all-consuming love and so um that is what this book is about and i just want to say i know a lot of people had a problem with this because apparently francine rivers used to like write um adult romances like those historical erotic romances and um for me i feel like considering that's what she used to write and this i don't know if this was her first segue into christian fiction um or not but considering she was used to writing historical romances that involve sex right and then she decided to write a story on hosea and gomer i don't see the problem with it personally me i don't um as a reader i don't see anything wrong with it now some people will disagree and this is not a video to argue with anyone about okay i'm just gonna say that many people who i've recommended the story to love it some people did have slight issues with it but that's because they couldn't deal with the triggers right and so definitely trigger warning like i said for child rape child molestation prostitution all that okay all of that is involved in this like if you don't like that type of stuff don't read the book don't even watch the show the movie i'm sorry because i heard things about the movie but i for me i'm going to watch it because the book i could relate to a lot of things with angel and i could connect with her as a character and I also love the heart of Michael Hosea, right? And so keep in mind, this is a Christian fiction retelling. It is not the exact story of Gomer and Hosea. Clearly, their names are Michael Hosea and Angel. Angel is not her real name, but I'm not going to spoil that. But yeah, I'm going to watch it and just relax. It is 4.48. I actually just finished doing my reading blog for... um. So Winter Prince, I just finished this book up. It was so beautiful. Five star read. Definitely click the eye to go watch that video because I think that video will be up before this. But um, oh, I did get a package from Bethany. Sorry, Baker Publishing. So this is actually from Rebel. And it's by Melissa Coslin. It's Dangerous Beauty. It is a romantic suspense. I think I have another one of her books. I think it's called never miss yep never miss i think i own that book so um yeah i have this that came in the mail for review and uh oh yes they have it in 1080 and so i am just going to sit back and enjoy this movie i will show snippets here and there as much as i can without copyright issues because i don't want to have no problems when i go to edit this video but um if you guys have seen the movie let me know your thoughts for sure but um yeah i'll come give my thoughts every so often show you guys clips here and there um and i'll definitely keep in mind how revealing it is how much sexual content is involved but keep in mind again the the context and the the conversations had in this book okay and i think at the beginning there is also yeah there's a note from the author in this at the very beginning um i feel like books need to start coming with trigger warnings just saying because a lot of people can't handle things um and this is a thick book it's a thicky she thick this was a almost 500 pages long um, but the copy I have does come with um, a Bible study in the back, which I have not done at all. It's a reader's group guide, and um, it's the 20th anniversary edition. And so um, I do want to get another copy to reread because I've read this, like I said, twice. And I don't want to mess up my notes that are in here. Y'all don't understand. This book gave me everything that I needed and more. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get ready to watch. And um, I'll come back with more information soon. <music> so it is 5 38 i'm about an hour into the movie now and um i'm enjoying it i'm really enjoying it i will say again if you're not big on books or talk of sex or rape don't don't do it because you'll be bothered for sure um 
I am enjoying Angel. I am enjoying Michael Hosea. I think the actors are doing a great job. And the script is pretty much, I don't find many differences from the movie to the book. Um, so they really did a good job. Sorry guys, I'm just braiding the back of my hair for now. But um, they have done a really good job with creating this movie and sticking to the book, I will say. Um, I'm loving the flashbacks, just like in the book, where you get flashbacks of Angel's life before, um, you know, she got to the part, to the part of life where she's at now. Um, seeing the guy, I can't remember his name, Oh, there's a guy that kind of, I don't want to say trained her, he sort of, I guess, groomed Angel. Seeing him and the cat, the, uh, actor that they have for him, definitely top tier, I, I like that. Um... Angel's mother, I love her as an actress. That woman, I can't remember her name, but I love her ever since I used to watch, um, was it Vampire Diaries? I think that was the name of the show. Um, and yes, I did watch that show as a teenager. So, um. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm trying to comb this out as best as I can. Lots of new growth, so it's kind of hard, but, um. But yeah, this, it's been, so far, a really good movie. Um, it might be a five star for me. Definitely better than three was, but obviously this is 2022, different from 2006, sorry. But um, I think it's done a great job. I'm, I'm enjoying Michael Hosea. I, I like his character regardless, so I knew I was going to enjoy him. Um, Angel is definitely, definitely sticking to the parts of the movie um, and doing her job, of course. But yeah, so far so good. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to finish up watching it some more. Um, I think total, well, it says two hours. It's a two hour movie. Excuse me. I don't know if I said an hour and a half before I lied. It's a two hour movie. So I'm at the halfway mark. Um, so I guess when I get to like the next 30 minutes or so, I'll um, come, let me try to get this over here. I'll come and give my thoughts. But, um, yeah, so far, so good. I am enjoying it. I think if you read the book and you love the book, the movie would be a great, great way to go. Uh, did I get bit on my face? I definitely did. Okay, whatever. But, yeah, I'm gonna get back to the movie while I finish braiding my hair. I just got one more braid. I'm gonna put this in two braids, probably three, and then eat my, um, garlic beef soup. Um, yeah, you heard me right. Garlic beef soup. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm gonna go. So, I'll be back. so i'm an hour and 43 minutes in so not that much left to go again i'm watching on two times speed i just thought off at 1.5 now i'm on two times speed um there is something i i must say about this movie um as much as i'm loving the movie right i think the problem for me is the full-blown sex <laughs> it's full-blown sex right and the reason why i'm saying that might be a problem for people is because some people might be triggered whether bad or I don't even want to say good because if you're not married and you're watching sex scenes obviously it's going to trigger you in a way that you shouldn't uh divulge in right um and hopefully everyone that's watching this video is an adult but there are two explicit sex scenes I mean not explicit to what you're used to seeing on tv but like you you know you, they doing it like they're doing it and i think those are the same two scenes that are in the book i can't remember if it was two or three scenes in the book um but with reading the book it's different versus you visually seeing it happen uh, and i was confused for a second i would have preferred a fade to black scene um for something like this especially because there are some believers who are sensitive to this type of thing right so i just want to state that if you're not up for any type of sex in your movies don't watch this because there are two scenes specifically and they 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 doing it they 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 out here they, they out here doing it like like ain't nothing and granted they're married right 
But again, there are some people who are sensitive to those type of scenes. Um, reading it for me versus watching it are two completely different things. I mean, two completely different things, right? And so, um, I would say caution when you're going into this because obviously there's child rape there's molestation there's prostitution right but there are definitely two for sure for sure sex scenes i am an hour and 43 minutes at 34 seconds into the movie and i don't see two sex scenes granted they're married at this time let me just say that um angel and michael are married right at this point in time when they finally do it but it's out it's, it's out and open it's it's there <laughs> so i just want to state that um yeah it, it's in the movie so just be aware of that be aware of that if you're not into that in your movies but i'm gonna go back to watching guys so i finished watching the movie um you saw my reaction towards the end i absolutely love this movie i think this was a superb um book to movie adaptation i think for a christian film i don't think i would classify it as a christian film um well see the problem for me honestly i found no problem with it let me just say that i personally found nothing wrong with the movie outside of the two sex scenes um which should have been more fade to black if you're going to um have this be for christian content now um the book itself is labeled as a historical fiction right but it is based off of the bible it is a reimagining of the bible and so many people like myself classify it as a christian historical fiction um the same thing goes for the movie top tier i think it was so well done um i know the the credits had named roma downey as one of the uh i don't know if it was the directors or something like that and francine rivers of course helped with the direction of the movie um i think it was beautifully done beautifully done um again for me it's just the two sex scenes i think they could have done without or not even done without just did fades of black right we're adults we all know what fades of black scenes are right but they just straight up put it in there like it's in there <laughs> Um, but other than that, I loved it. I, I loved everything about the movie. It stuck so closely to the book. I love the book. So I personally will give this movie five stars. Um, if I am rating this based on content level, I would say a four stars, right? Because you have the two sex scenes and you have the talk of the child molestation, child rape, prostitution, right? Um, but for me and what I tolerate, well, not tolerate, but what I can handle, I'll say five stars solid five stars i definitely would recommend it if if you read the book definitely watch the movie um if you're okay with that and if you choose to watch it through like an app or something you can always fast forward those those sex scenes um but i think that if you read the book and you love the book like if the book is like a favorite for you definitely watch the movie the movie is not that bad it's it's, it's really a good movie um if you've never read the book i would say read the book first and see if you can tolerate <laughs> those triggers that i mentioned if you can't tolerate the book then i would definitely tell you not to watch the movie because the movie lets you know what it is um but yeah for, i loved it i i i think it was superb i would honestly love to see more francine rivers books turned into movies honestly like the um the one that's called a voice in the wind i have not read that book yet i haven't read that book yet but i would love to see that trilogy turned into a series um and some of her contemporary fictions i would love to see turned into like movies or something like that but um yeah for me solid five star i enjoyed it to a t and i would recommend it if you read the book if you read the book definitely watch the movie if it was one of your favorites if it wasn't a favorite and you had some problems with the book you're definitely gonna have problems with the movie so if you love the book watch the movie if you were okay with the book i don't know if you should watch the movie it's up to you personal preference but for me i loved it and because i could connect with angel and her story and her thought processing and stuff like that i could personally connect with her not on the prostitution stuff i can connect on it but um yeah I, I definitely connected with it and uh i, I enjoyed it i enjoyed it to a t 
and I joined the I enjoyed the redemption arcs for multiple characters and things like that um but yeah overall this was really really good oh I will say there's another trigger for murder <laughs> heavy on murder um now as a reader I'm gonna just say this because I know somebody probably gonna be like what she said okay as a reader I read books right that involves murder and all the assassins that's just I like fantasy novels right so in this book there is a particular person that gets murdered and um do I agree with the murder you gotta read the book to understand why I kind of agree with it but they like show what happened to this person should they have done that probably not but considering that this is the 18 1800s it's like all about context context in which you will and will not watch and so you know to each your own um your preference no judgment of course but for me and what again i i can take and handle and deal with i found nothing wrong with this movie um for me solid five stars if i'm rating this on like sexual content and all that four stars maybe three and a half <laughs> for the sensitive folks right um, and being sensitive to those things has nothing, it's not to be like rude or derogatory or anything like that. I'm just saying there are some people who are sensitive to talk of sex, to talk of rape, right? Who can't handle those things or who can't deal with those like conversations and stuff like that. And that's perfectly fine. There are many types of Christians in the world, right? You have Christians who are, you know, straightforward, abiding by the word of God, strictly to a T. And then you have those Christians who can relate because they lived life and they did things and they have no shame in sharing and, and you know, giving their testimony, right? And so whether you watch it or not, it's definitely up to you. I hope you take my, you know, my review and my thoughts into consideration. Again, two sex scenes are definitely involved. There is some slight cursing, um, like this cursing, um, only in like the first portion of the movie, I would say after that, there's no cursing, um, there is mention uh, there's rape but it's not per se mentioned as rape if that makes sense it's kind of hard because it's prostitution but there's also children involved in it. if you want to read the book read the book don't go watch this movie if you do not read this book okay go read the book first and if you enjoyed the book enough watch the movie if the book was a favorite for you if you five starred the book watch the movie but i'm gonna go because i could ramble on it for days but i'm so glad that i finally sat down to watch this movie and i feel like if i would have did that reading vlog that i wanted to do rereading the book and then watching the movie i would have soared soared but um yeah i'm gonna go now i'm gonna wrap my hair up and clean up my room because my room is a hot mess and i have some shirt orders to do this week and a lot of other things to do so i'm gonna go it's 6 33 so i'm gonna finish up some more stuff before i take it down for the evening but um yeah i enjoyed it and i definitely would recommend it if you are a fan of francine rivers redeeming love but um if you made it to the end of this movie pop this up something to do with movies is most likely what this icon emoji is so use that so i know that you got to the end of this movie vlog and i hope you guys enjoyed this i definitely want to do more movie vlogs i might rewatch the shack because i love it so much i might rewatch it um, and I have a bunch of movies that are at Christian like movies that I have. I will probably will sign up for Pure Flix down the line um, and watch some of their movies. Who knows? But um, I'm going to go and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.